Hello awesome fans, this is Big Pete here. As you can see here, today I'm actually going to do a review on a book instead of a toy. So this book as you can see, is the art of He-Man and the Masters of the Universe. So what is so interesting that we're doing this review on this book today, um, this book actually has a lot of content that um, we kind of grew up from the He-Man cartoon, right? But we never knew uh, who designed it and what is the history of He-Man. So today, I'm going to show you uh, why is this book worth buying. It's apart from the price, which is only $49.90, right? Available at Book Access. If any of you are around there, you can actually grab this book. It's very worth, well worth buying this book and a lot of information and a lot of pages so I want to show you that. Alright, okay, so let's look at what is inside here, what is the content of this book all about. So the book has a lot of nice illustrations, so this is the He-Man and Master of the Universe introduction page. So we have the invention of the hero, the classic collection, we have classic mini comics because uh, they have comics and also uh, there comes a film and comics, books, magazines and more. And they also have the motion picture. And I think uh, it is been many, many years that they produced a movie with Dolph Lundgren as the main character uh, acting as He-Man. So we have also the new adventures after that, what's, uh, what has happened to He-Man, and the collection Reborn, the new collection of He-Man, and the collection Revisited, and the evolution of the universe. So these are the contents of the book. So the invention of the hero um, was, it has actually like um, the subject here, this is actually a memo when they wanted to um, create the hero, the action figure, uh, male determined to the uh, generic license of male action figure. It says here, the purpose of this memo is to begin an investigation into developing a generic male action figure. So this is very interesting, they actually have a concept that they want to develop from uh, for He-Man itself. So this is all the contents that you can read. So this is actually the first look of He-Man. Alright, it was um, uh, first cup of the He-Man was by Tony Guerrero. Alright, this is Tony Guerrero's cup and based on Mark Taylor's illustration of Rico, right? kind of like a Viking. So you can still see the shield and the X itself re resembles the, uh, the modern human that you see or the, the final outcome of it. So you have more notes, uh, more contents, and you have one of these characters here. This is called Demo Man, kind of like a demon man. It is supposed to be Skeletor. Right? Skeletor is supposed to look like that. Right? It's really tedious. And this is, I think you will notice the fur and everything, so it's this man. So we will look at this classic collection. It starts, I mean, it says dated here is 1982. It's a very long, long time ago. Um, so this is He-Man Scalp, so you get better tag. And this is supposed to be how Prince Adam will look like. So we have here um, Man at Arms. And this is how Skeletor looks like, and actually it has a color uh, selection for the character itself. So these are the Pantone colors that they selected. And you have more, this man, and the merman. And you have, this is um, very classic that actually the head can change. Uh, this is man in spaces, yeah. So you can see actually the notes here says Mattel 1982. So these are all the uh, initial uh, designs of the characters before they come up with the toy or the characters themselves. And this is Castle Blaze Scout. So let's skip forward a bit faster here. And we have seen a lot of art, uh, so-called artwork that is developed for the toys or the characters itself. So here we have the produced toy, so it becomes a part of the toy which you are familiar with this too, right? The new development of the... And here we have the list of, I mean, all... I, I don't know whether it's all, but uh, most of it. I actually have this one, right? Uh, this is called the Extender, right? And the Rock Guy. So, you can 
see all this. More toys, designs. These are illustrations. And here we actually have one thing uh, very interesting is the unproduced toys. So these are actually concepts of toys that they discarded, you know, um, the funny ideas of these characters um, uh, that they did not develop into the toy itself. So these are the unreleased ones. So we have packaging art here, so it's pretty neat that you can actually see uh, the designs again, a lot of illustrations, beautiful illustrations. And this is Kalatos Castle in a base set. And I think you remember this, the skeleton, uh, kind of like a vehicle where you snap uh, in all the figures and you, you it's a, a collection. So you actually, this is the part where you actually carry it on. And here we have the classic mini comics, alright? Classic mini comics as um, you know from toys to cartoons to comics. So these are all the pages of the comics and powers. Shira, Princess of Power. And then comes chapter 4 here is 1983. They developed the animation. So this is how the artwork of the animation is. All this, all right? A lot of nice design um, storyboards here, the sketches, um, you know, of the animation characters. Huh. One thing is interesting is you actually the book has one animation cells that they give to they give to you, right? So it's Seaman and Skeletal here. Yeah. It's an animation cells. Properly here, and these are from the scenes of the animation or the cartoon itself. Here we have 1985, we have comics, books, magazines, and more. Um, a lot more beautiful illustrations, as you can see. Um, I've never seen this, uh, these are really um, old and classic, or maybe it's an uh, artist impression. So, some of it might be in the packaging. You know, we have the battle scenes. Um, I can't sing this. And this is for that. And all the villains. A lot of illustration, beautiful illustration. Yeah, Shira here. Right here we have uh, kind of like big posters with everyone in it. Go through. Um, hey, something interesting. Superman and the Masters of the Universe. So they are actually fighting with. They actually have a DC crossover with he um, You can see this is DC Comics and this is Marvel as well. So he actually crosses all over the universe, uh, the comic universe, um, Star Comics. I don't know what the company is that. Okay, more comics and comics uh, posters, 10 posters to paint or color. So I think this is like a coloring book, but these are so beautiful. So, and okay, here we have uh, the motion picture. In 1987, they produced this uh, motion picture with North London. Any one of you who remember this, uh, I like the, the key, you know, the one with the music uh, notes. It's amazing, these are the production notes, posters, magazines. Huh. Here is uh, one very interesting. You might look at the um, the, the concept of the sketch. This is by Ralph McQuarrie, right? Uh, best known for his work for Star Wars concept. He developed all the characters, so he also contributed to um, the He-Man universe. See, all these are actually Ralph uh, designs, character development, Skeletor looks less fierce. Careful, I and mean, uh, this is Evelyn, and yeah, a lot more designs by Ralph. The scenery, the castle. So, there you go, you have a lot of artworks here. So, chapter 7 introduced the new adventures, which is in 1990, where you have the early development work of the new He Man. Um, these are all the designs, the more futuristic uh, space battles. Uh, kind of, um, you know, like you can see, these are all very modern designs. And 2002 Collection Reborn, the comics, I believe. This is either the comics or the movie. 
I mean animation. Yeah, the more characters. These are more neat designs. Um, the new generations. And here you can see this is the hot of them. And you have a return of the animation, so they do have a new animated series. And over here you can see uh, more toys uh, developed. You can also see there are comics. Every, every page is all beautiful illustrations and comics strips. Yeah. So this is why I said it's actually very cool to own this book, it's well worth it. So in 2009, the collection revisited, these are the new, I think this is the one that, uh, yeah, the old series, but um, they released kind of like the classic series. Okay, here we have a center fold, right, apart from this beautiful uh, Castle Grayskull petal, you also have all the toys. Yeah, these are photographs of all the toys that I think that has been released. So including um, Shira here, right? Beautiful, beautiful uh, pictures and illustrations. Okay, right. The concept of Castle Grayskull, um, more concept and Skeletor's uh, base. Uh huh. You know this character, right? So there are more. Um, New stuff here. Huh. You know who is this? This is Stanley. So this is <laughs> Mattel entered into the partnership with Stanley's uh, Entertainment in 2013, and they commemorate him with a special classic figure. So this is Stanley's uh, uh, characters in <laughs> a human world, right? So uh, more. These are actually maps, location maps. You can you will know where are these. Um, you know, world of He Man, She Ra, and this is uh, Eternia and her moons. Wow, this is actually a cross section of the Castle Grayskull, right? Very neat book. More comics. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of illustrations. So, any of you interested to get this book, head on to Book Access now before it's sold off. Wow, this is a very cool uh, design of the Castle Grayskull here. Alright, so uh, Big Pete here signing off, uh, please go and get this book, it's really really worth it, alright, uh, very good collection for uh, He-Man fans, alright, thank you very much, bye bye.